Alrighty, welcome back. This is uh, video uh, tutorial number uh, 15 in part 5 in our Structures Data Grid series. Um, brought to you, um, this is about the pair of uh, PHP video tutorials. Brought to you by um, Imagination Everywhere and RIA Institute. I am Amin Mojira, your pre presenter. And in this uh, tutorial, we're going to go over the next example in the structures data grid using the uh, MySQL driver um, to display data uh, using the data table I mean using the HTML ta table and again this is uh, this is where we're uh, this is uh, this is the example right here um, so let's go ahead and open up expression web and as you can see is I got a building a data grid from an SQL result set. Uh, here we have our error handling. Uh, we have the include one structures data grid dot PHP. Um, we have the error handling if something's wrong with the data grid dot PHP or whatever other uh, class is included in that file. Um, just like the old, uh, the previous video we used the DG uh, as a variable um, to create a new structures data grid um, you can use any kind of variable that you want to describe FG blue red whatever as long as that dollar sign right there as long as this do dollar sign is that is ahead of it so we created a new uh, structure data grid and then what we're doing is we're gonna bind the data grid using a MDB2 driver and the way we do that is we create another variable called options uh, that's what I'm calling this variable then well uh, that variable we use an array then a, a, then we in that uh, array uh, this is a, a, a data source name DSN and that equals or is greater than or you know um, it corresponds to the MySQL uh, software is what we're using uh, my root, my uh, username is root. I don't have a password, and the database that we're going to be accessing is world. And so the data grid is going to be using the bind method, and the SQL st uh, uh, statement that we're going to use select from the entire uh, table of country. So this means that, you know we can select. A, a certain column from country but we're gonna we're gonna use this to select the um, entire table of country and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bind options to this method right here the M, um, db 2 <coughs> and then it's gonna render as an HTML table and that is basically it so let's go ahead and run this example Voila! Here we go. And so this is from the world database, and we're talking about all the countries in the world database, as you can see here. Now, of course, later on we'll be talking about paging and stuff like that, so we don't have to keep scrolling all the way down, and um, you know we can break them up into chunks of ten. But on this tutorial, we're dealing with just strictly displaying them in the HTML table. Um, you know, uh, again, you can sort them through by just clicking on the name. So right now they're uh, they're not in alphabetical order, but if we click on name, they're in alphabetical order, as you can see. And if we click on name again, they start from the last to the first. So we can see uh, the United States right here, um, and we can look at it was established in eight, in 1776. Um, its surface area is you know nine million or ninety three million six hundred and thirty or nine hundred and thirty six million three hundred and well, I don't know <laughs> I'm getting messed up on that um, we're looking at the population look at the life expectancy which is uh, 77 years uh, gross national product um, the location name United States uh, we're a federal republic this is this was done when George W. Bush was uh, president. Our here's our uh, capital uh, code. Um, so you know we, you know this is 
how you retrieve data from a database and display it. And as you all know, if we had to do this, you know, basically from just using SQL and PHP, you know, we'd have to write uh, a, a, a line of code for each one of these uh, columns. So, you know, but with, with PHP, we only had to do one line of code, you know, so, um, you know, it just it's just a great it's just a great thing to do so you know uh, we're displaying it in here in this table and uh, you know uh, in the next example we'll be getting into paging and CSS and other things but I just wanted to show you how that we connect it to the database uh, the world database remember we downloaded that and installed that using the command line here's the country um, data database uh, table within the database and it, out, it has all the same things and you know we can do all the same scrolling and everything else so uh, I look forward to to the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next video